What's up guys, this is Sean from AutoLeatherDye.com and we are coming to you today with a brand new video. Uh, it's been a while since we've done some videos, sorry we've been growing, selling a lot of leather dyes, trying to help the people out, but now we are back, we're going to start a whole new line of videos, try to get you know a few done. So we've got some new things going on here man, we have got lights, we have actually got somewhere to spray, check it out, we even got a band. Luxury Leather Repair man, that's our brand of leather dyes. Leather repair products, crack crease fillers, do-it-yourself kits. If you need it, that's what you want. So anyway, the video that we're going to do today is actually doing a color change on a recliner. Uh, it's something we get asked about quite often. Can I do this? I've got it black. I want it red. I've got it red. I want it blue. Today, we've got one blue that we're actually going to make purple. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the recliner set up, and then we'll be right back to get the video started. Alright guys, so here is the recliner we're going to be working on. Yep, you see it right. So anyway, so <laughs> you like it don't you? I really do as well. So anyway, I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $20 for this kid's recliner. I have got a five-year-old daughter. She just turned five. Happy birthday. So anyway, I've got a five-year-old daughter. So as you can see, this guy is baby boy blue. I don't have any boys. Mine are all girls. So the blue does me no good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy to a purplish color. Actually a sparkly pearlescent purple color. Um, again, what we're getting ready to do though as far as the color, don't worry about what color we have to what we're going to. The key is all what color do you want. Um, with our furn leather furniture dye, remember it's a protected pigmented dye. So Yes, we use the word dye all over the, the leather industry, but that term is used very, very loosely. Um, there are two types of dye. There are ones that are made to penetrate, and then there's what we use today, which is 95% of the furniture industry, but it's what we call a pigmented or a protected leather dye. That is nothing more than a breathable, flexible paint. Car seats, 99.9% .9 of them. The furniture industry, over 95% of it, um, jackets, boots, you know, all, all kinds of things, man. That's how they're colored. The big thing is, is what you want to do is make sure you're using a dye that is compatible with your specific leather type. Like for this, this is actually not leather. This is a uh, pleather or vinyl or faux leather or whatever you want to call it. But how it is colored and given its blue appearance is the same way as a leather hide. It is colored simply with a pigmented top coat. So again, what you want to do before you ever get started is just make sure you got the right leather type. Just drop a little water on it. Make sure it beads up in a non-worn area. Uh, if that happens, you could take a dye that's made to penetrate, but it's not going to penetrate. It'll do just like water does and sit on top. So in that instance, you have to use these types of dyes. Uh, so leather paints, that's what they are. But anyway, um, so we're going to go at this chair with the purple color. So. The, uh, the three things that we're going to do that, that are very important, one is we're going to prep it. So we're going to start with our dynamic clean as a prepping material. Use that, make sure, you know, light body oils from the old kid. I don't even know who that kid was from the Facebook Marketplace post. We just want to make sure if they got any oils on the chair, we get them off. <laughs> Dirt, grime, other things like that that would be adhesion deterrents to the coating. We're going to want to make sure we, uh, we remove. From there, we're going to move into a leather adhesion promoter. If you're doing a color change, an adhesion promoter is really important just because not only does it help the adhesion to the new dye and make sure it holds and all that stuff, but it actually acts as a primer. So if you have any worn areas, it will build that up and it allows you to use a little less dye when you're doing a color change as opposed to using, you know, doing the same color. So we're going to use that and then of course we'll, we'll come in with the dye which is going to be the, the important part and where all the magic will happen. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get this chair prepped. Uh, so what we're using dynamically, man, it's just amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Um, also, within your kit, you're going to get a gray scuff pad, real important to the process. This basically mimics a thousand grit sandpaper. So if you use one or you got a big area and this wears out, just get some thousand grit sandpaper and wet sand it with the dynamic clean. And then of course, man, this is why you guys will buy from us. It's all about the towel. So every kit that you get from us comes with a free microfiber towel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start here on this arm. And as I prep, what I like to do is section by section, just because it's key to wipe it off while it's still wet. So I'm just gonna take the dynamic clean here. We're just gonna spray it over the arm. 
And then we're going to take our scuff pad and just really light pressure, just come in and clean everywhere that you're going to recolor. Guys, so we're back now. Here the chair has been prepped. We finished with the dynamic clean, the scuff pad, and that amazing towel. Don't forget it. So now we're going to move right into the next section. And again, if you're doing the same color, leather adhesion promoter is, is never a required product. Like It's not imperative that you use it to make the dye last. If you're doing a color change, it helps. Like I said, one, for it does give the adhesion, but two, it just allows you to use a smaller amount of dye as opposed to having to build up so that, you know so it's a nice primer really for the leather um, if you're doing the same color and you're worried about adhesion or you just want to make sure leather adhesion promoter is a deal so what we're going to do when we do this chair today is we're actually going to spray it um, you know our kits come with sponges you can get great results with the application sponges but we've often got requests on can I spray the dye so yes, so the process we're going to do, we're starting with the adhesion promoter. That's what we got in the gun. And, you know, hey, we're doing a purple chair, so I broke out the purple gun, right? Keep it real. Um, so we're going to start with the adhesion promoter. But the, the key to all of this is just how you apply the adhesion promoter is just how you're going to apply the dye, which is just how you're going to apply the top coat. Light coats, tack coats, that's what you're after. Um, now I've got this real fancy piece of equipment here that I'm going to use to dry it in between coats. It's really nice if you're spraying, you can use that hair dryer, dry it down, come in and put your next coat on, which you'll see in a minute. So anyway, again, just light coats, that's all you're after. So I'm going to start again with just this arm that we were working on, and we're going to go ahead and recolor that first. So just taking the adhesion promoter, it's just nice, even, full coverage. All right, guys, so now it's time to have a little fun. Uh, so what I've got here, like I said, I have just mixed a lavenderish purple. My daughter loves purple. Uh, one of our leather furniture dyes. So I've mixed that up. We actually have a pearlescent add-in. So if you're interested, you got a kid, or you want something that has a metallic flake in it, we got some for it. So anyway, I've got a sparkly purple. She should love it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is just going to start with the one arm over on the other side, just kind of showing that go down. And uh, then we'll move on. Remember, it's very key. Light coats, sponge, spraying, it doesn't matter. Light coats. One other thing I will throw out there about spraying, though. Uh, if you use, you know, this, this gun I got at Harbor Freight for like $12.95. It's not extremely nice. Uh, it doesn't need to be. It's not like doing an exterior car paint. Um, but if you have a smaller airbrush, sometimes, depending upon the needle size, if you have trouble getting the dye to go through, a little water is all you need. That's a, that's a true indication that you're using a real water-based product. You can thin it with water. Stay away from the solvents, all that kind of stuff. It'll mess your dye up. Uh, plus, it'll save you some money, right? We all got water. So anyway, so I'm just going to start here with this. Same thing as the adhesion promoter. Light coats, right? Just tack coats. Alright guys, so what I did was I went ahead and finished the arm. You can see I've done some areas around it, but basically when I'm doing a recolor piece by piece, right? I do the arm, then I work on this piece, the back piece. But we just want to come to you. This is with four coats on, maybe five. I think actually it's five coats of the dye. We have now got our solid opaque purple shade. The blue is completely hidden. Uh, we can see our metallic flakes in there. done finished up uh, prep well not completely finished but for the most part um, we're done I mean I still got to come in and do a little touch-ups there's still some little spots where there's some blue um, and that's just coming in just doing a little bit at a time using my spray gun spraying it drying it spraying it drying it but from the overall picture of the uh, 
the recliner. I think we're gonna call this Frosted Purple. This sounds good, right? Frosted Purple? Sounds like something my daughter would love. So anyway, it can be done. It's not hard. Uh, the key is having the right products. The key is following the right process. Uh, as long as you do that, man, you can make this thing pink, you can make it blue, you can make it turquoise, black, whatever you want to do. Uh, but anyway, um, we appreciate you, man. We really, really do. Uh, you know, we're growing. We are really, really growing. And that's all because of folks like yourselves investing and believing in people like us. Uh, we really do have a good product and know that we are certainly here to help you guys. Uh, if you want to dive into something like this, whether it's a color change or whether it's even just doing the same color on your own car, and just reach out to us. Myself, Jess, Sandy, Isaac, we got a whole crew. Um, we're standing around waiting to help you. Not really standing around. They better not be standing around. But anyway, we're here, man. Just know that anything, sales at autoleatherdye.com is the email. Uh, 1 one eight. I'm sorry, I didn't even say that right. It's one eight three three two eight eight sixty three ninety three. That might have been what I said. It's been a long day, but that really equates to eight three three auto die, and that's toll free. So anyway, man. Until the next video. Thank you so much for watching, spending a little time with me, man. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, give us a little heart there on the video. Hit us up on Instagram or whatever it may be. Facebook, we're there. Uh, and again, if there's anything we could do to help, just let us know. Until next time, this is Sean, and I'm out.